Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Today I'm really excited to be showing you about how to use SharePoint image libraries. Uh, this it was April Dunham that got me onto this. Um, she did a little piece on how to do the border radius on uh, on your images, and I could see that she was using SharePoint image libraries, and it got me onto this. And I thought this is so cool. So you, this is really well, well worth watching. Um, so uh, I mean. <sighs> Just to give you an example of how I used this, uh, what I did was I put together a SharePoint image library. I connected Power Apps to it. I then used the shuffle function to, you know, make them come out in a different order. And then, essentially, I created a montage to music uh, this Christmas where I was able to have all this, uh, all these images kind of going on. In fact. Why don't I just show you because it's easier to kind of get it. These are my daughter's images here. As it happens, I did it with my um, my father-in-law who had passed away. So um, I was able to, to do it with that. So, um, But what happens is I hit this button here. The whole lot shuffles. It goes off. And and then the montage is ready to start. Uh, and when I start it, I can click the different songs I can use. And then I hit the click Christmas show. Here we go. Okay, you get the idea, and then there are ways of making the the things flip round in the right directions. So that is what the next few weeks will kind of give you a little pointer as to how to approach. So one minute fifty in, I've showed you nothing so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to uh, I'm going to move on to SharePoint because the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create um, a an image library, which is not the same as a list. I don't know if that confuses people, but look, basically, you go down, new app, you have a little look around, and we are going to do a picture library, um, and we're just literally going to click that. Uh, we need to give it a name, and I'm going to call it my. Uh, I did this before, actually. I'm going to call it my IMG library, and I will cre press create on that. It creates uh, an image library, believe it or not, for us, which is just here with no images in at all so far. I'm just going to jump onto um, uh, just just somewhere I've got just bucket loads of images. So and I am going to uh, resize them. Yeah, just grab a few images from all over the place. Little Finland thing. Just any old images, really. Drag them across. How easy is that? I mean, you can do it in Flow, and it's uber cool in in Flow. And it'll take no time to get these images in. So they are in now. Now, the tricky... It's not even that tricky, actually. I'm just going to press Refresh on this page, see what it does. Okay, because I'm pretty sure they're in. Fantastic. The images are in. Um, and this is where the magic starts. So if I pop over to... The first thing I'm going to do is just going to grab this bit here to be fair it's about the only technical thing you have to do all the way up to where it goes site and then the site name copy that into power apps then go to view data source add a data source i'm going to go down to sharepoint I don't i won't need a new connection so down to sharepoint but if you didn't have one you'd have to click on new connection and find sharepoint and so on click on that and then I'm going to paste in this i probably don't need to i can probably use products but um i'll paste this in here and i'll go go on that uh, and then this is the tricky bit because you aren't going to find your list in here at all. And that is the bit that makes you think, oh, never mind, uh, maybe it doesn't work. But in reality, all you have to do is take my image library, go back under Power Apps, put it onto the custom list name, um, hit the little tick button, and then connect it up. And nothing happens. Well, of course, we haven't done anything with it. All we've done is create a connection to that list. Then we go um, insert gallery vertical, uh, and then we will go to our data source, my image library. It's got a connection, but the image isn't connected to anything. So you then put this item dot link 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 to item. Okay, so we've got that, and as a special 
tribute to April. I am going to do the border radius. Now, I'm not amazing at doing border radius, so I'm just going to put some stupid amount, like 500 or something. Um, they can't go more radius than, than, than it is physically possible for them to do anyway. So, but you can see on there, if I, do it a, if I did a black background, say, um, fill, fill, see what this does. Um, and I went something like black. You can see that it's gone, um, uh, that it's got a little uh, radius on. As it happens, it's not necessary for what I'm doing here. Um, so, that's, I mean, that was pretty quick, if I'm honest. Um, we managed to create an image library, we connected to the image library, and we even brought images into that. So, um, in the future sessions, what we're going to do is we're going to work out how to, um, to shuffle the images, which is really cool. Uh, and then also how to remove uh, items from our shuffled list because that's what makes the um, the app actually work. So anyway, um, hope to see you again soon. Please like, uh, please subscribe because I bring out weekly videos and see you again soon.